Trials of Mana. You a link out, actually. No. Oh, I've been playing out, it's kicking. It's actually Alex Kid. I don't know where that one Hmm? Alex Kid. Not Alex Dickhead. Oh, let it slip. Oh, can, you, can you save it? You know it? Yeah. Well, you know, well, just, um, yeah, it's like a continue game tonight. You die, mm -hmm. you just go back to the beginning of that level, but. I wish yeah, it was really hard when I was younger, but. Obviously, I was younger, but. I see, I remember playing, playing it on the... Sega Master System? No, no, I've never had a Master System. It was like, when my mate Matt come around, because that's what he played when he was a kid, he played it. it was, I think it was on my, like, my, my PS4. The but, Sega um, Collection game thing. Yeah. I remember going, fucking hell, this is shit. And he loved it, he was just playing it like loads. Like, then, this version's actually got one where you can just press R2 and it, it just yeah. walks back in like a split second into like, the old graphics. Thought it was a cool touch. Uh, I had a go of it a few weeks ago, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's great. I used to love it when I was younger, right? Like, Play on the feet. <laughs> do, do, do you know what's kind of bullshit though? Is the. the rock, paper, scissors, boss, and boss battles. It's a total random. I don't think it's randomised. No, it's still, not random. It's still hard to remember, though. Easy. <laughs> I'm, I've been smashing me, my way through them. If you're me, yeah, it's not easy. Alright, uh, it's good, right? Yeah, I've lost one once. I used to love it when I was younger, right? Yeah, how do we go with it, right? But, uh, I just need to go back to it. Right? Yeah, is it on the face open? Yeah, it's the uh, one of the newer ones that I did. It's a remake of a game that was released in the uh, well, UK or the US. Okay. Uh, they ever play Secret of Mana. Don't keep me waiting. Come on. No, no, no. The game that it is, it's a uh, game by Square. It's like an action action. Yeah, I know this. Square. Yeah, really good, right? Um, I think it goes right. It's really good. Really, like the combat is really fun. Like. It's where Final Fantasy 15 took a sort of, and the Final Fantasy remake took the like, action battles. Based on the American action battles. Oops, we're just out. Good luck. Plus your your when you and your powers and your abilities and that as well. Really good art style and really good uh, the enemy. Uh, It's sad to know, it's just in the middle of the world. Quite far, I think I've only got like, I think I've done like the penultimate boss. I don't think it's a very really long game, mate. Like, near the end of it. I've, I've done quite, yeah, I will be. All, all the, the trophies that are popping up, it's like the last ones to do, are. It's got one to do in the next one, but one of the order. Yeah. Um, the last boss and the big story. It is one of the, I mean, it was the game that came with Sega Master System 2, it was actually in the console. Yeah, I remember, yeah. yeah I remember so, I played it to fucking death for 10 years, like, I, could, I, I didn't finish it, like, but I did go playing it. I actually remember it, or the, or the soundtrack, or something.
Okay, leave it to me. Okay. What a waste of time. Don't think so. Here we go. Don't keep me waiting! Pick one, there's one that I should one called Alex Head in Shinobi World. Yeah, yeah, but it's actually for some of the Shinobi games. I need to stick around after a win. There's a couple of shitty people, but... Yeah. One on the... Oh, one on Sega Mega Drive. Alex Head in Enchanted Castle. And there was Alex Head in Techno World. Oh, I'll just get the high tech world. High tech land. Oh, oh, there's a lot of people in the game. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you, replay last was replay last was your master. Really master. Have you, have you got it? Oh, you got to play it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your opinion? Because they're actually remastering Horizon Zero Dawn. What's your opinion on this trend that's starting for remastering current games? I find it kind of weird, but... Well, Last of Us is only ten is ten years old. Ah, I mean, I can see that. Like. And the thing is, I think he's it's the only kind of one I make an exception for because, um, not just because I'm a fanboy, but um, I think I, I can see the vision he's trying to do. He's just he's come on leaps and bounds from the first one to the second one. He's basically hit his peak, I think, in terms of how he made the stuff, how to make the game. And he wanted to just modernise the first one, so when he completes it, the saga, it's all up to the same standards. Because he's about to hit the big time this guy with fucking like, HBO series. Like, oh, yeah. Like, hundreds of millions of people have never heard of the last of us. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's really. I've seen the trailer for it, and I know what's behind it. And, 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 <laughs> so I think he's just trying to modern up. Resident Evil, I've got no problem with that. They're all old enough, yeah. A lot of my PS1. Yeah. 1, 2 and 3 were PS1, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Yep. And PS... yeah, number 4, it was right at the end of the cycle of the PS2. It was the best game on PS2, easily. But, um, no problem with that. I don't think they need to remake 5 and 6 in the Resident Evil. Nah, it's not necessarily like. I mean, even though 5 is 15 years old. More so, more than that, I think. Uh, it's be 60 days, like. Uh, yeah, I've got it. It's, it's on PS3. Mm. Um, but I just don't think that. Uh, 5 is good enough to remaster, sure, just about. <coughs> but 6 isn't, but once you've done all. F if you do 5 of them, you're gonna do the 6 one, aren't you? But um, I don't think they need to do five or six. They're not classic enough anyway. Yeah, five was actually all... still a good game. Six, me and Pete were playing it, and like we wanted to it. play a game together for ages. I know, I just, I just found it hilarious. I kept on like it, he was quite enjoying it. But I just kept on pissing myself with laughter at the acting and the voices and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, Some yeah, of yeah. the shit. Can yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I felt a bit bad for Pete, <laughs> that's what I think, because he's it. wanting to play a game and I'm just absolutely pissing myself. Aye. Very hammy, that's what hammy acting. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Mm. Embarrassing for the fans, like. I'd really like to see him remake all the Metal Gears. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, there's one franchise that needs to win. Very unlikely to happen. Well, I don't know. I mean, I can still. Sort of, I'm really master of it. I mean, no, but they're right. No, it's possible. I've read about it. I mean, there's some of this. I don't know if it'll be out. Hello? I, it's been rumours to me in the make, you know, in the pipeline for ages. Really but again, it's just clickbait. It's actually, you don't know what's just yeah. clickbait. Um, 
because everyone wants it to be the case. But I don't know if Konami can be bothered. It's quite a big ordeal. When they make they're making game. too much money off the Pachinko machine really? and stuff. Right? There's no need for it. There's, exactly. They're not so. focused on that. They're not company. They want the fucking the money, yeah. But the Metal Gear franchise makes a lot of money. But I'd, if they remade one to at least one to three, but they should really do one to four as well. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't need to do five, but again, you, you, you almost might. You might do a reskin of it if you. Two, that's the thing with Last of Us and um, no Last of Us is old game, but it still feels like a new game. You know what I mean? It's still yeah, like no, I don't. overhaul like, the visuals and that. But Horizon Zero Dawn is still looks like a fucking modern game. It's the apparently in the Last of Us one. It's, it's, it's like the facial expect. It's actually a more emotional game. Because yeah. you can see the facial expressions better. Like, that's the thing with number two. Right, have you played it? I've played one. Played number two? Number two. Do you know about a really, really horrific bit of no. The jewel? No. No, I don't know if it's the jewel, but I don't know if it's the Oh, I won't ruin it for you, but there's one, there's one kill that Ellie does. And it's, as, a, as the audience, your stomach turns, honestly. Yeah. When you see something about that kill, you literally and in, in the in the show when Ellie discovers what she's done, she throws up everywhere. Like, you know, yeah. But it's the it's the face and expressions, honestly, of this stuff. You know, I'll never get that image out of my head. Yeah, I've never had a game in my life that can make you so fucking. Like, even when Joel got killed, I was just like, no. I didn't know he was going to get killed. I, thought, I mean, the, all the trailers and sort of, they gave. You know it was about revenge, but you know, they, made, they deliberately implied it was her girlfriend that got killed. And just before Joel got killed, Dino went missing for a little bit in the blizzard, and there was gang out. And, and then Joel got killed. Like, the first thing she did was blow his kneecap off. And, stop going. Like, and this is a cutscene, so you know it's not like. And I come back from this cutscene. <laughs> but like, she beat him with her. Like, and stuff like that. And you're just like, no, someone, somehow this hasn't happened. And then you see the graves and you start talking about Joel getting killed. And you're like, oh, it really has happened. But honestly, some of that shit in that game. Do you know why they killed Joel? Some, I don't know. Bored? <laughs> no. Um, Maybe. Do you want to know? I, I do plan on playing it, like. I, I do. Plan on yeah, it, have the experience. Uh, but... I will play it, it's just, yeah, the worst thing, isn't it? Yeah, have the experience. I'd rather you sort of felt it for the first mm. time. Yeah, I would but... probably. <laughs> Play it once the fuse comes out. I think we've got a good experience to put the fuse out of the I'll play the game with you. We'll play number two before you see that part of the game. You know, I don't yeah. reckon I'll do it. Well, you don't want to see that. So. Put it this way the reason they killed Joel. Oh, that's heartbreaking as well. Like, really sort of. And the reason they've done. You know how you play as half a game as Abby? You know about that? No, I mean, I just barely know because the reviews are good. Yeah, yeah. Well, you play a half a game with Abby, you get the two And that's kind of the point, you see how they were, how they lived, they were just normal people as well. And yeah, like the way he's wearing it, he's such a fucking... He's like Martin Scorsese. Like my, I, I, I liken him to Martin Scorsese, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. Quentin Tarantino is like Hideo Kojima. But yeah, that's why I think the remakes of them, because it gets that emotion in the faces. And I've seen some of the screenshot comparison, and it's like, wow. But Horizon, you're absolutely right. I mean, I see why it's questionable during The Last of Us. I mean, wasn't it all, all, already remastered for the PS4? So but that's just a reskin, but yeah. So that's the, well, that's the... the new game, plus. Well. New ones on PS5, is that a completely new one? All the scenery and the graphics and everything like that, and the controls are all uh, upgraded. Because in number two, you've got a couple more mechanics flowers? as well. Oh, mm -hmm. no. 
Curses. Dodge, for example, and you can, you can lie flat on the floor and hide in the grass and stuff. Yeah. So. But frankly, I think because it, it's such a fanboy game as well, there are people that are dedicated to that game. That they, oh, yeah. you know, it was going to sell. But again, it's not going to be the sort of. He's a bit cheeky charging 70 quid for it when it first go out. But, <laughs> again, it, it doesn't take five years to make because you've written the story, you've written the build. You've just got to redo the graphics. Do it again, yeah. Where am I? Even the mocap, you don't have to do it again, you know? Oh, I um, see you are awake. This is the Laurent yeah, secret base. Too. We Amazons yeah. have been gathering yeah, our remaining forces mm -hmm. since on PS5. the views of Navarro attacked the Citadel. Nothing on PS4 should be getting remade already. <laughs> no. Who are you? I, mean, I can understand the director's cut. Yeah. Princess of the yeah. Kingdom of Laurent. Last of Us 2 is going to get a director's cut, it looks like, and that'll be Citadel. basically, but it'll just be I assumed I alone survived. the equivalent of a While PS5 patch for my kidnapped plus a cut of extra content, I reckon. I received word mm. of this hidden base and returned. Well, that's a given, You're you know. It's like the they're making the Death Stranding director's cut. Heard of it? That's yeah. the same as that. It's a PS5 oh, re. You know, the Windstone. Yeah. Which makes I the content. I believe it is located in Gust Hall, a cave in the Westerly Mountains. You may find your path blocked by the Wind you statues there. However, roller drum. We could it, like. have controlled the wind for you from Citadel Laurent. Yeah, I'll get around to it. But with the you invasion. Nah, it's the end, right. end of the game. Hey, well just then, out. Well, guess we better help you guys so. take back your castle. No, I could not possibly accept. This is our fight. Well, Once you are fully rested, fixed. you are free to leave. It's got a solo mode, like a op op mm. open world solo mode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be out for this. I'll give it a go, but like, damage their reputation a bit with Street Fighter 5. Mm. Yeah, no, it was, yeah, it was fine, yeah. <coughs> it's, I uh, played 4, but... Oh, I played 4 today, but... Oh, here we go, there we go. Mm. Love 5, oh. just... You can't not have Guile, E-Honda... Blanka... Balrog... In your initial lineup. <clears throat> Should not right. be unlocking those characters. Well, Street Fighter V, right? I bought the game at launch. I from the fourth. I bought five at launch, and I couldn't play it because there was no single player mode. And the online aspect wasn't up yet. So you could only do training. That's all you could do for about a month, and then you could play online. And then there was a sort of single player campaign. You had three fights, and then it ends. Oh, it yeah, took about a yeah. year, a year and a half, before they got the, the, the ladder matches in. Yeah, that was the problem with Armin. I tried playing it, it was just like, yeah, bollocks, the fuck all up, please. Mm -hmm. Second 8 is coming out now. I have a lot of strike attack, you know what Yeah, there's a couple that I just missed them coming out, I think I was just traveling at the time, but I did play. Like one, two, and well, two and three, shit, no, especially three and second tag as well. And then uh, four, I played quite a lot. Five, I missed. Six, I played a lot. Seven, I platinum it just because it was so easy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I didn't play it shit loads. But yeah, it was one of them platinum people. I think like fifteen percent of people have got it. Just go for both of Play the game. But yeah, I uh, didn't play it excessively. I do like it a lot, though. It's my favourite. It's, it's the fighting game I played the most. I wouldn't say it's definitely my favourite. I think it is. I like the way the story and the characters look more than Fighter. It's only out of those two. Oh, I couldn't give a fuck about it. I rate it. The, the lore and stuff's really good.
Paris Saint-Germain can score against Reigns. Your Highness! I am so pleased mm. to see you, mm. Will. Mm. <coughs> There's some an accumulator, but they've all come in. Rangers to beat St. Mary. Do not strain yourself. Chelsea to beat Wolves. <laughs> I game. am fine, And City spanks up, Anthony. Newcastle, Burt Brent. How can we take the Citadel from the thieves who have it overrun? Frontal attack would easily be rebuffed by Navarro. Real Madrid a 1-0 up against Getafe. It's 0-0 for Reims. Forgive me, I am a mere caretaker. I never learned tactics or strategies of war. Paris really should we should consult with the sage Dom Perry. Mm -hmm. He may have wisdom to impart upon us. Dom Perry? Yes! A messy name, uh, the name. world was waging so war on the Dragon Lord and his unstoppable forces. Dom Perry advised the Hero King on strategy, which led Valsena to victory. Where can we find this tactician? Hmm. He is difficult to locate. Dom Perry is Cora Poker. They are small, reclusive beings that dwell in Rabbite Forest, south of Jan. Then we must go and find him. Please wait! The Cora Poker do not like larger folks such as us. You may not be able to meet with him it's at all. It's a Hot Wheels game on the PS Plus. We'll see you Finally, games. you have returned. Three games. And so with you, three are games. hope. Yeah. Hot Wheels. You cannot leave, leave us to there. travel again so soon. Yeah, Your yeah, Highness, please stay good with your that, people. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty good, but hey, what was the last one? Hey, uh, old man. Super hot. Leave it to us. Great one, look. We need to get to Gust Hall and uh, sounds like you can't have access to the Citadel no, anyway. I'm looking, I'm looking Let us help. Bloody amazing look. Really unique. You mm. would take this mission? Thank you. So, uh, what do we do? Hmm. Dom Perry may not agree to meet with you and you must find the legendary Minor Mallet. Rumor has it that the item is in... Um, probably not, it's not necessary. What I mean, if, if, there's no, if there was no reward. What if you hold the tarantula, I'll give you 950. Well, it's 950, how long have I hold it for? Nine and a half seconds, yeah, minutes. So. It's not worth it. Nine and a half seconds. Yeah, it's fine, as long as it wasn't one of the poison. Oh yeah, it's 9.50, yeah. I wouldn't do it, I would, you know what? If somebody gave me a tarnish with the phones, I'd probably throw it. And then it'd instinct to, ah! Yeah, that'd be the hard part to understand. That must happen, surely, that must happen. I saw something earlier about, uh... This tiny, tiny little octopus you can hold in the palm of your hand, like this. It's not the size of your hand, it's literally the palm. Yeah. 
but it's one of the most deadly toxins in the world. It's like blue rings, octopus. Yeah, I know what you mean, like, yeah. Yeah, there was a video of someone on TikTok that's done it. It was just like, they obviously didn't know. Yeah, but the I video was about really how this. Yeah. It was about how lucky this person was they didn't die. Oh, that was the video yeah, I saw. Yeah. Well, it's dumb, but it's they didn't do it out of bravado. Oh. Views. Oh, I've got an SQ off of this. But if that's your channel, like interesting animals, then that's that's good content. Yeah, yeah. People do go through part of the content. It's bullshit, you know? yeah. There's that one guy who, um, some of his stuff's quite funny because he does get punched. But, like, he's on the phone next to people, pretending to be on the phone next to people that are like, big and hard. And he's just like, yeah, mate, I'm just standing next to some little girl. And the bloke's like, what? You talking about me, mate? And he's just like, nah, man, I'm not about you. But, yeah, the little puff that just spoke to me right now and just, like, just keeps getting punched. Mm. And like women punch him right in the face and stuff like that, and like, he just deserves it. And uh, he picks, he, he, that's his thing. At least he, at least he gets hit for it. He's got a mm. player. Huh. He, he got in some Asian guy's car. And he's like, right, mate, can you just take me down the road, please. Like, what you doing? Get out of my car! You like, us all well, the Uber the driver, he's just like, no, I'm not a fucking Uber driver. Get out of my car now! Why like, oh, just take me down the road, please? But of course. <laughs> fuck you! Get you out! Um. He's done a couple of ones, like two specifically, where he's like, Sergey, yes, I am next to a girl right now. Bring the car around and we will kidnap her and take her away. It's like, you can't imply to a woman that's on her own at night time walking down the street. Yeah. She's about to get kidnapped. You shouldn't do that. Plug my headset in. Shut up. All right. I'm going to make a documentary called Centre of Fight. Focuses we on young footballers in Fife, Glorophis. Should we try that night market? I'll be the real third nine character, like looking at the Gregs and that, total oh, Solomon, they go, oh, nice Gregs. He used, used to go there when I was younger. <laughs> Leo Ferdinand's funny looking myth. A goatee that covers his entire upper lip. The sternum or something. Very care, Dracula. Not fast either way. Not against him. If you want to laugh, 
on YouTube and look at Keanu Reeves and Dracula. He's done a really bad English accent. It's fucking hilarious. Like, it's maybe Cockney type, like London, well, not Cockney, but posh London accent. 1980, no, late 1800s. And he's like, Dracula is a monster. A monster. Got that minor mallet. Now we just gotta use it in Rabbi Forest to get into the core poker village. Ninjas are good at disguising themselves. This will be easy. Who do you think is taller? Liam Neeson or Ryan Reynolds? Neeson. Neeson? Yeah. Ryan's quite tall, by the way. No, Ryan. Well, it's what you said, Liam. Six foot two. I remember the Buddha with the Liam as well, right? Well, I did in my head. Oh, 
I just imagine because <coughs> you sort of lean these down a wee bit. Maybe I'm going to go up to sort of his head bends down a wee bit. family tree before. My brother has gone to the trouble of making us all a fucking book based on his years of research into our family tree so I don't have to. And he's got a nice little hardback that he sent us all one year for Christmas. Well, that's cool, right? <laughs> he's a proper man. I, I, I mean, no, that's not, that's fucking smart. Oh no, yeah, no, I'm joking. I bet it's, it's expensive, really nice. I do. The research, right? I mean, it's expensive, like, right? I'm making a book. Yeah, I mean, it's just one of them things. I think he just got like 15 names, 10, 15 names. Really he probably what got was, a few spares for the kids. What, what was the big call? Do they have a cool name? Like, it's just called the Parsons Family Tree. That's what I'm sure. Yeah, and I, I can't say I've read it. I've <laughs> <laughs> read it. Can I ask you this or what? I'll ask you the book. Fucking get it under the fucking table with Rob one. Oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, no, my brother's that guy. He does that sort of thing. Is he Rain Man? Have you asked if he's Rain Man? He might be, right? He's, um... If he is Rain Man, his... I do apologise. He's got his specialities. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Make no I don't even know fucking Reddit. No, I'll flick for it. Uh, it's really basic, it's just got like pictures and stuff. Aye. Like well, did you, have you looked up your ancestors and where they came to? Well, I know, uh, I know uh, an extent of what I, I know. My my dad's side mainly, you know, they fought in the wars and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, they fought the Nazis. I thought they were the Nazis. I thought you just were the Nazis. I'm just going with that. Uh, I just can't wait for the future when they're like, show us a picture of your dad with a total Snapchat filter. I think he was younger. Oh, very cool. Yeah, he came up to Greg's for 35 hours a week for oh, hard times. Yeah, some something uh, uh oh, I do think it's quite far the way we are now. Too much to get on an island. Right, island race is actually happening. Mm. And uh, we are locked in Ireland. Um, we would have got invaded. And, you know, if we didn't have the British Channel, the English Channel, mm. you know, we were able to just go, come on, let's fucking have it. Tiny yeah. fucking Ireland, Every, everybody speaks a fucking language in the planet. Yeah. 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 Go and take their fucking land and make them learn their language. I mean, we're trying to play with you back Hong Kong, we're trying to play with you back. Of course! 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 Of 
again because I think where we had the where we had the water protecting us, not just in the Second World War, where we just always had the water protecting us. It's not like you can just march a load of troops in easily. You can't just all line up on the border and go right across. Right, right, right. yeah. And like, obviously, we just got loads of capacity to build boats as well. There were loads of ports and stuff, so we just had a fucking amazing naval thing. And we just got a time in there. So, really out of like, Alright. Bend over. Okay. Hey, was that? Who do you reckon we're bringing a fire out? Joe Biden. Donald J. Trump. John, uh, J. Donald J. Is he the one with the black hair? Looks like a total, looks like a fucking proud boy. Part Donald Trump. No, oh, oh, I thought you talked about the, 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 the son. Nah. Is this really going to work? Green orange Trump. Orange oh, Trump, yeah. It's, I really have turned off the news. Is Joe Biden physically able to move quite well? Or is he like frail looking? Yeah, he's alright, I mean, he's old, he's frail, but he's not, I wouldn't say he's frail exactly, like, you know. Yeah, he's, he's old, old, old age, yeah. I reckon uh, maybe him. I don't know, Trump, uh, he's quite a big boy. But I don't know if he can punch well, he's pretty slow moving, I'd imagine. Um, Joe looks like the aliens from. Have you seen the movie Fire in the Sky? Have you seen that movie? No. Look up Fire in the Sky, Alien. Looks like Joe Biden. You three do not look Maybe familiar. Alien pals in hell. We're new. We just moved here. Nice to meet you. Who does? Is Joe Biden a soldier or something? Or something about you smell. <laughs> Must be I'm the human sure. I hitched a ride on. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Probably uh, got some of his stink on me. Uh -huh. It is hard to avoid those simple, stinky humans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny that uh, Trump anyway, and me, George uh, Bush, happen to know Jr. where we can find cool. Don Perry the Saint. Really funny, isn't it? How about uh, you look for the fellow he's yourself? It's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Ask That's the, the thing, we all thought he was an idiot, and then fucking something. Uh, you know, Barack Obama, you almost forget he was the president because he he just sort of floated through and was a decent, upstanding fellow that's pretty cognitively functioning. Mm. But again, the Republican Party, similar to the Conservatives in England, the people that live in the country of America are like Republicans. They're nowhere near as cunty as the actual top level politicians. Mm -hmm. Some of them have just fully chosen to be anti vaxxers. Mm -hmm. one, there's one fucking doctor in America, right? That went on GB News recently as an expert, which says a lot about their uh, fucking standards. There's an actual doctor that came out and said that the vaccine makes you time travel. And I've seen that. I've seen it, the... It probably does, if you think about it, though. It does. Because after Sorry. you've had your vaccine, time is time is going forward. Our time traveling. Is that his uh, argument? Yeah. No, it's a her, but um, oh. that's an Amy Wolf. A female things. doctor? Oh, fuck. A female doctor. That's the first problem. Would you trust a doctor that's older or younger more? Like a doctor that's 62 or a guy or a a anybody, a guy or female that's 23? Would you trust a doctor that's had years of experience or somebody that's new 
and he's just recently learned all the medical stuff. If they were literally 63, I'd go for the younger one. Yeah, well, we'll see. 57. It would depend on the doctor. Because I've had an old doctor, and they've just been like, gone in there complaining and so they just like, well, what's your diet like? You know, and they're like, eat better, exercise, and I'm sure you'll be fine. She's yeah. Like, can't you just on. give me a blood test? She's just like, yeah, go on, fuck off. Kind of thing. It's just like, can't you just give me a blood test, please? Mm-hmm. Like, a little fucking tiny examination, touch my ribs a little bit, whatever. Like, yeah. put, your fe- put your fucking stethoscope, whatever it's called, the stethoscope. Stethoscope. Yeah. My chiropractor was actually, I was his first ever patient. Oh. Yeah, I was just like, because it's I mean, not sorry. life threatening. So. I didn't realise what you said, I think you were his first ever patient. Yeah. How did that work then? Did it just go, oh, it's my first day? Well, he's been to uni and, you know, he studied this stuff. He's got qualifications and he's been hired by a reputable chiropractor for surgery. It's a chain, it's got a few, there's a sundial, there's quite a few going in there. There's two, in, two or three in Brighton, I think. Um, I don't think it's like a national company, I think it's like a county-wide one. But, but yeah, um, I got diagnosed, or like, I got a, uh, what's the word, consultancy and diagnosis from like an experience with it. Mm. I reckon she just looked at it and went, this is pretty textbook for Matt to have his first patient kind of thing. Mm. Like, there was no major, I was a youngster, but it was other people that had it. Mm. <coughs> I'm not really, it's not a big deal. It's not a straight forward at all. Thank you, Dave. I'm quite happy to, I'm just, oh, alright, cool, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> I remember having a, a junior doctor, a, this trainee nurse, giving me stitches once when I sliced my finger open. I was in London, I had to go to A and Pantheon. And, uh, which is one of them that was a lot of blood and a bit of a deep cut, but nothing major. It was like eight or ten stitches. And, uh, it was fucking painful getting them done. He was so really sorry. I was like, honestly, don't worry about me. I'm just, you've got to learn somehow, kind of thing. Yeah. I was like, I'm happy to be I'm not going to be a dick about it. Can I get a Newcastle United home top in the gym? Go nuts. Wow, you do think it's an offensive, right? Yeah, but I was actually looking at that. I was looking at our ladies on my defensive as well. Because I love a repress of the 96 one with the Newcastle. Right there, the logo in the centre, you know what I mean? And it was like... Yeah, well, I think that's quite a business these days out of selling retro kits. Oh yeah, it was like... Right. But, um, I don't know if you've ever owned any old fabrics, but they tend to snare to them, they get quite quick back to the back of your head. Yeah. 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 What I'm at, well, the Polly F kind of period, what I'm at, you, uh, Peter the Dreams one, came with the logo in the centre on the floor. But, uh, I can't make the 90 pips, but it's on the other week. Not on the other night, so not yet, yeah. It smells pretty quickly, like, if you wear it for a day, it smells, eh, uh, beyond me. It's in the material region. 